We are live. We are live this morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. And you. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Trying to adjust my tripod as I speak to you. Yeah, it's one of those mornings when we are here because we're here. Because we're here. We're here. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Wherever you are, good morning. T, morning. good morning to you. E E O G 44. Where's good the morning. T? <laughs> T. Where? See? T. Good morning, T. So what is wrong with? Oh. <laughs> You're not seeing. You see? Coffee's kitchen, good morning. Some part of my thing is breaking off. Because okay. something is there. I want to look at something. There's something there. Yeah, that. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Exeter. Yeah, I'm fixing the wifey's thing, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Waiting for some more folks to come on into the live. Yep. Coffee's kitchen, good morning to you. Coffee coming in the correct. Coffee, you did try it. You did say you're gonna try something. Did you try it and did it work and did you like it? <laughs> Why you rock? What kind of dancing are going over there, sir? You see her over there? Good morning, prayer kid. Good morning. <laughs> Um, no, I'm not getting nothing from people. Good right. morning. You have to go back and 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 go back in full um semi screen. Oh, yes. Yeah. Then long nail na help you know in our life. Yeah. See. All right. Good morning. Good morning, Zenitha. Good morning to you, Zenitha. Good morning. Where is yours now? It's right there. Oh. Yeah. Good morning. All right, so this morning we are making fried dumplings, guys, which is one of our favorites, which is one of my favorites. Absolute it's favorite. One of Jamaicans favorite. Most Jamaicans make fried dumpling on a regular. But this morning we're changing it up a bit. We're making it, we're using oats because the idea of having um, white flour, mm -hmm. we're trying to erase the amount of white flour that we do have. Yeah, the spinach selfish fritters. Coffee says she did make it. Okay. And it did work out. Yep, yep. And also, whole wheat is not necessary as good as, necessarily as good as it is made out to be. So you want to go with grains. Mm -hmm. So oats is mm -hmm. the thing to, to try. So last week, if you guys saw our breakfast live, we did pancakes and we used oatmeal also. So... Yeah, we're on our oatmeal run. Watch the video for yourself. If you guys were not live and you have not seen that video, watch it for yourself and then you can be the judge. But just to let you know and to... <laughs> <laughs> I won. Okay? Okay. Listen, Team Jose, I don't know it already because I mean win. Team Wifey. All right, so make we get into it because storm a keep, guys. If you're living in South Florida, there is an impending storm on the way. It should land here as a category between category three to one, one to three, um, and they're not yet certain where exactly in Florida it's gonna be. Mm -hmm. But all of the predictions, because meteorologists don't profit nowadays. Mm -hmm. All the predictions point to Florida. So pray for us and those who are in Florida, start preparing. I am a prepper, so I'm telling you, prepare. And Dorian wouldn't let me be great. And it's our birthday this weekend and Dorian Tomorrow. says, Dorian says, nope. No celebration. Storm is going to keep. 
no birthday and guys this is the one time me really be vexed because i planned her birthday down to a t i planned her birthday oh sorry a t <laughs> I planned her birthday 100% because every year I'm guilty of just taking her to a restaurant. It was still a restaurant, but it would have been a better one. Why Why these people not stop um, notifications on my thing? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Zenitha. Thank we you, Zenitha. We will try to be safe. All right, so now it's time for work. Yes, I'm a chicken red jerk. All right. Let's get into All it. Alright, so far and um yeah, this is an experiment. But based on our track record, it always works out. Zimmy? She says her birthday is on Saturday as well and she cannot um celebrate it either. She's in Florida too? Or? She is not in Florida. Oh. This thing is, is messing him up and I don't want to have to fling it away, so All let right. me try it. We have been having so much problems with our tripods and our camera equipment, guys. You would not believe. These tripods that they sell us are just wrong up. All right. But we have to try our best. All right. Mom, put this down for a little bit because guess what we did not do? Mm -hmm. Set our lighting. Tell them what you're doing. All right. So this is one cup of oats and I use the roll oats, not the instant quick oats. This is um, old fashioned rolled oats. So it's one cup exactly. And I am just going to ground it or grind it. One out of the two. Uh, underneath. So we have our Nutri Bullet machine right here. <laughs> this Nutri Bullet machine only work when the grooves, the thing going a particular groove. So you have to try it. And this guys is just is just the, the, the oatmeal alone, you know, without any water or anything. And voila there you go voila we have made oat flour. oat flour pour it out in the container let me check the consistency oh and it's totally powdery totally powdery all right so i'm gonna start off with that one look at that guys oat flour look at that oat flour wow And let me see how much of this. One to one to one. Yeah. And to that I'm adding one cup of the unbleached, unbleached all-purpose all flour. flour. You're gonna put a little cornmeal in it or no? Don't have any. No cornmeal not gonna be in it. But you could put cornmeal in it, guys. That would kind of change the complexity. But the consistency, make it almost like festival. Right. Which is not bad since we're having fried fish. All right. So, guys, the next step, of course, for your fried I'm dumpling is your baking powder, which is your raisin agent. And you want to add, add a good amount of the baking powder in this one because you you with your oat flour you mm -hmm. don't want the you don't want it to be too heavy the dumpling you want it light and mm -hmm. airy just the same so i would say it's a tablespoon of this that i just added and tablespoon. no more you sure oh she always does a testing guys so <laughs> and then you put your salt so i just eyeball my salt but if i was to tell you guys um an amount that look like and make that not look like eyeball <laughs> half of a teaspoon of salt yes and of course I add sugar to the thing because we just like that taste that it gives when it's a little bit sweet. Yes, so sugar Not gives overly sweet. The um umami. 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 So I'm putting one heaping tablespoon of sugar. And that's good. That's good? Mm -hmm. One sugar. You want it more than that? I mean, I know it. No, because 
All right, and then butter is important. So we're adding butter. And it, it's nice that the butter is at room temperature, guys. So that this you is know. a nice um, light butter, which With is the olive, olive oil. oil butter. So it's it doesn't get very hard. Olive oil butter, me say olive oil butter. And then, Lord of God, me say olive oil butter. Use it to make your dumpling slopper. I mean, I mean, um, what the word? <laughs> your no dumpling fun. supper. Olive oil, me say olive oil butter. All then right. you put the olive oil, make the dumpling. Yeah, olive oil, olive oil butter. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, oh, crrr. Huh? You could, you could. And I'm just putting a little bit of coconut oil for a little bit of coconut oil zizaz. Just about a <laughs> tablespoon of coconut oil. Yes. For that yes, no. coconut oil okay. flavor. Okay, and now for your water. You're not using your almond milk? Hmm? Almond milk? Yeah, I'm using some. Okay. I fry my dumpling in this morning. You have enough time? Yes, guys, as you can see, the wife is the chief dumpling maker. If you like what is going on, guys, please give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it, guys. It goes a far way in, in our channel's um, um, optimization. Yeah, and uh, Google does show, or YouTube shows your, your video more when it has thumbs up. So that's why we always ask for thumbs, thumbs up. Thumbs up and interaction. And interaction guys. So if you want to talk to us, you can talk to us and stuff like that and all those razzle dazzle stuff. Yeah? Alright, so this is the testing batch. This is what I do so that I don't mess, mess up, up the entire the batch. Thing. So if it tastes that, okay. This look a little bit doing now now that I think about it. Mm -hmm. This look like a little bit of dumpling and me alone will eat about seven. Me alone. Alright, I'll make another batch afterwards. So but this is us. She's going to make another batch, guys, because me, me not in a, the I'm adding some almond thing. milk. It's a dumpling, you. As the liquid. Me just have to talk about the dumpling. <laughs> and then you kind of do it your regular kneading way, how you normally knead your dumpling. You want a little water? So guys, this is water. this is what the wifey okay. always does. And I don't, I don't, I don't worry about it because she is uh, um, making sure that the batch, the entire batch is work, work out nice. So mm -hmm. that's why you see, you'll find that she tests a little bit like that. And that's what you have to do, you know, test the dumpling. Thank you so much, Coffee's Kitchen. She says she likes our, Coffee's Kitchen said they like our creativity and uniqueness. We okay. appreciate you for appreciating us. It's very appreciative. Yes yes and guys remember if you are interested yard belly has a merch store and we sell t-shirts yard belly tv and you have some t-shirts uh jamaican t-shirts that can really and truly um pop if you wear them you know on a regular basis we have leggings for ladies we also have tank tops we also have what it what it the razor back racer. racer back um um a tank top tank top we have hoodies you know christmas are come winter coming if you're in canada if you're in the uk and you know it gets super cold you can rep your jamaican heritage with a yardy belly hoodie so visit the shop now store to get yours as well oh, no, thank you so much so, now let's get back to the program i can safely say that the texture and the consistency of the dough is pretty much you know the like same regular as regular dumpling so it's no issue it's not falling apart no issue with the dumpling so there you have it guys your meal is a little bit healthier because you added a whole half of you know you replace half of the amount of the dough with something that is way healthier which is your oatmeal so yeah time for testing please don't look over there on our two bottle of water time that we have for the hurricane we're going towards the store, the stove now, and we're going. And I we're am going. not going to put it in until it's hot. Okay. And this is how much oil? An hour. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much, but you have to put enough. But based on the shape that I'm gonna use, I don't have to put the amount that I normally would. I can put a little bit less. What are you making? I'm just making it with a hole in the middle, so it, it's not hard to soak. Like donuts? 
Yes, like so. I don't want donuts. <laughs> uh, I want regular dumplings. Right, I'll make yours regular, but it's going to be flatter. I don't care. It must be dumpling it. When you make the regular dumpling, you have to put a whole lot of oil for it to, you know. Yeah, and so we've fried. been combating that using um excessive amount of oil, not just for Hurricane the... Hurricane will come, we can't finish the oil. <laughs> so. Not just for the but also for you can put in no man no babe you're not telling Why me where you turn the stove up to seven <coughs> she's just so meticulous i think it can go in now mm -hmm. you want to show them my fish that i fried yesterday mm -hmm. she's dancing in the house i just want to show you the fish but hold on it's i think it's getting hot now Let, let's do a, a it's test. getting hot in here See? Beulah blessings, big up yourself. Happy Thursday morning to you. It's one of those mornings, guys. Let me tell you something about life. Life has a tendency to just surprise you. You know, you're going about your merry way, doing your merry thing, and here comes okay. a hurricane. You know, and that's life. It comes in the form of misfortune, it comes in the form of windfalls. It comes in the form of, you know, uh, pleasantries. It comes in the form of sadness. And what am I saying? I'm saying when you approach life, don't approach it so everything must be stereotypically how you expect it to be. You understand? Because we were not given any type of guarantees. The only guarantee yeah, that we to. do have is death and taxes. All right, and those are and, and salvation is a guarantee, but it all depends on your perspective and it all depends on what you have uh, what you have um, incorporated in your own personal life. You know, for those of us who are religious, we say um, salvation is guaranteed, but we are sure that death will happen and we are sure that you will be taxed. It don't matter where you are and where in the world you have found yourself, you are going to be taxed. And so, guys, the whole idea behind it is. Live life fullest. Make use of every opportunity. This is what the Bible says. And if you're not religious, please, please pardon my use of religious um, references. The Bible says, be careful how you live. Not as a fool, but as a wise person. Making use of every opportunity because the days that you're living in are evil days. What is, it, what, what is it saying? It is saying when you have breath inside of your body, when you have, give, you have been given life as a gift, use it to the best of your abilities. Use it to maximize your potential. Many of us are sitting down waiting on the perfect day to do the thing that we think is the most perfect thing we can do. Unfortunately, that day may never ever come. Compromise is not necessarily a bad thing when you are compromising correctly when you are utilizing the the opportunities that are afforded you you may not get up in the morning thinking that today is the day that i'm gonna you know meet in an accident no nobody does but it can happen but you could be sitting down waiting on an opportunity that's perfect and miss out on something that is awesome that could alleviate a lot of stress and could help you and assist you in getting over a certain home a lot of us waste time like that my girl you just squeeze your and take out the dumpling and don't tell me so immediately hmm? i know that there's an issue all right what's the issue there's too much baking powder in there too much baking powder yeah you you tell me what to do don't tell me what to do put more flour yeah i have to add more flour mm. you see it's too mm -hmm. airy mm-hmm it's too airy mm-hmm but it's nice Mm -hmm. The flavors are on point. Mm -hmm. Just put just put another cup of flour. Don't bother with no more oats? No, no more oats. Okay. This is why you test your dumpling. Mm -hmm. That's good right there, baby. Can you imagine if I just Guys, let me tell you how this come out. This come out almost like a cake. You know? But it's nice, you know, guys. Look here. No man, no, 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 change nothing else. Mm -mm. It's good, right? Mm hmm. Mm. One piece of some pear now. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm. 
Sound like we could have eaten it down. Nice. Nice, man. I'm telling you. You have done yourself quite a justice right now. <laughs> quite a justice. Hold on, this I feel like I need to test it more. This need more testing. But nothing else. Mm, no. I'm not going to need no more this type of food. That's why we're trying to... Um, <laughs> 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 Alright, so you put water. Mm-hmm. And Go on, put. this milk. Nobody has any test kitchen. Miss won't talk to you. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna stop. Yeah, guys, so that's why I do that little um sample testing before I actually knead the dough. Because once it's kneaded, there's no turning back. Don't worry, me need the dough right now. <laughs> It tastes so good, guys. And the oats make it light. Mm -hmm. Trust me, the oats make it light. The oats, wow, it tastes good. Ah, I can't, I can't get over it. <laughs> wow, it's like it's so good. You know, I have something to say. I'm, I've been in the church for a long time, and I've come to the realization that. Sometimes we use the church as a crutch. We use the doctrine of Christianity as a crutch to not advance ourselves. Sometimes we use the word of God incorrectly so as to not think about our circumstances. Sometimes we're sitting down, it's like we're sitting down on God to lift us up, move one foot in front of the other, and bring us to that place that we need to go. You know what I'm trying to say? It's not it's not an indictment against the the Bible and the teachings of of the of the God of God. I think it's it's how we interpret it. And some people have become static, stagnant. They're not advancing. Them get up every day and them do them them go through them routine and it becomes a traditional thing. Them worship God and them go to church and them do the same regular mundane things. However, that's not the pre that's not the principle of, of the Bible. The Bible really teaches us to advance towards a purpose. We, we, our life is supposed to reflect a purpose. There must be a task, a mandate, something that is set before us that we need to accomplish. For some, it is to get married, and that in itself is not is not is not a life purpose in the sense where the marriage is the end of it all. But you understand what I said? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have to, you have to set goals. Mm -hmm. You have to set you have to have drive and 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 you must come to a destination and then advance from there. But for some folks, them just sit down, you know, and them sit down and them sit down and them sit down and them. They, they may be sweetly saved as as they as though you dis, you describe salvation uh you, even if you even if you're not a christian even if you're a muslim you, even if you're an atheist whatever you are there must be an ultimate purpose to life there must be something that you are mandated or you're given yourself a task that you have given yourself to accomplish you know for us we want we want to one of our tasks is to try to get into a house a house that you won't drop off of the bed and drop into the kitchen <laughs> A house where you don't have to beat down the door when Joshua in there taking him two hours to use the restroom. And Joshua wants to take long showers. Like, this boy think him rich, you know? You know, Joshua think him rich, right? Mm -hmm. Him want go in there to take long showers and relax. Carry the, the phone in the room and you hear opera. And then something they want. But, obviously, in order to fulfill those tasks, you have to actually get him one room with bathroom too. The point is, we have a goal, we have a drive, we are pushing towards something. What are you pushing towards? What are you trying to attain? What is the goal that you have set for yourself for this year? Not just resolution, because some people set resolution and it don't, it don't reach, it don't reach nowhere. Some people resolution stop the day of boxing day. Them no, resolu the, the? Boxing day is the day after Christmas. Oh, <laughs> new, new, the day after New Year's Day. I feel them resolution done. Broke, right? That's how. I resolve to eat more healthy. And somebody said, food over me yard. Over there they gone. <laughs> you understand? We have to set goals. 
you know and as i said prior the, at the beginning of the conversation i believe that sometimes we use our christianity and the fact that we are christians to negate those goals good morning to you from atlanta atlanta is in the house hey georgia is in the house hey baby baby come on baby all right let's let's be able to say. <laughs> right and so the, the this morning i want to encourage us set a goal for yourself my goal is to get better in health and that goal is what is the hardest single hardest thing that i've done in a long time try to set a goal to be healthier because guess what food nice and i'm a foodie let me tell you how you know you're a foodie you see when the dinner done are you vex you're a foodie <laughs> when food done are you vex you're a foodie you understand sometimes i eat i'm vex come and say what this why the food done so the, the food finish quick when it's uh, um, something that you like. Exactly. The nicer the food is, the quicker it's done. But the point is, I had to step out of that and I had to go back to do better. I had to get up and, and make a concerted effort to go to the gym. There's a machine at the gym when we hit the elliptical machine. You know that, right? See? Mm -hmm. Heat it. Mm -hmm. And yet, I have to use it because it does work. Mm -hmm. And so you have to get over some hurdles but you have to set the goals and the goals will motivate you to to do what you don't like doing mm -hmm. to attain the result that you need to attain i'm making some like um festival shall make festival this morning as i said i want to encourage you you know that's what our program is about encouraging each other yeah making sure that we do what we have to do to get the results that we have to get this dumpling have me in nirvana right now because the little light one where she cooked before it is so light and hairy it has me feeling some type of way <laughs> will you start to put the dumplings in the pot i'm just showing dead dead pot right now <laughs> you know you can't be showing the just pot dead pot is not dead it's yeah. alive pot is not dead no it's alive the pot is not we're making dead. festival type of um fried dumplings today guys well and some of them yeah and the only reason why I would not officially call it festival is because it has no cornmeal in there. Right? And we make our dumplings a little bit flatter. A lot of people make theirs round. It's not a problem if you want to make it round, you know, but our flat ones, we find that we can use less oil. And it, yeah, it's now, soft. the next thing is, guys, you will get the, the dumplings getting brown very quickly. And that's for two reasons. One, because half of the... the, the um, the, the the dough is is oatmeal and then right? sugar when you put sugar and in then, the dough it gets um brown quickly exactly and we also have a little almond milk in there mm -hmm. all right and so these components will cause your dough to get brown quickly and then because of the amount of um baking powder that we have used if you notice they they swell up a little bit fast so it's it's gonna cook a lot quicker than if you had just made regular fried dumplings, mm -hmm. all right? But again, it's part of stepping out of the vein of white flour mm -hmm. and the white this and the white that. The doctor said to me to stop eat white stuff. So I'm gonna put some gravy on this. <laughs> <laughs> some brown gravy, right? Some brown gravy. <laughs> uh, it's like, you know, we have some old curry chicken in the fridge. Jeez, um, peace. Mm -hmm. Yes. How old? About two days or three days or four days or five days. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, we apologize that we did not start off our Wednesday reasoning, our reason, reasoning Wednesday yesterday. Mm -hmm. We are, we definitely plan to do it. We just wanted to make sure that everything is running smooth. It's not going to be too much of a cooking show. It's just going to be us sitting down and reasoning about life, about marriage, about finances, about different things. And we do invite you to, you know, submit your questions um, so that we can address them as much as possible. Um, and if I if I honestly don't know uh, an answer, if I can't give you an answer, I will tell you I don't know. That's the type of person that I am. All right. Um, we talk about everything, as I said before, religion and everything, you know, it's just our, our evening, um, you know, and thing and thing. So move on to doing your thingy thing now while I finish this up. Okay. The, the, that, that, that. 
All right, so to to with our with our dish, we're gonna be having, we're gonna be um, stir frying this real quick. When you go to stores like Trader Joe's and Aldi, you will find these type of um, what do you call it, prepackaged um, vegetables. And I like this one. It says Cruciferous Crunch Collection. It's kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, green cabbage, and red cabbage. And it is beautiful. Pass a, pass a container for me. The Glass? any any nice bowl that I can ha have, um, put this in. Yeah, so I'm just gonna quickly stir fry it up nice and quick. Uh, add it to the the the, the dish. Mm -hmm. mm? The other dumpling done. This is so good. Mm. The dumpling is so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me see now. All right, may I come? Tanya Johnson, good morning to you. Good morning, Tanya. Good morning, Mithia. Beulah, good morning to you. Who else I missed earlier? Miss K, good morning. Good morning. Yeah. And guys, we must, we have to start incorporate a little bit more vegetables in our diet. And the stir fry is super good, super good. And with the stir fry, I'm not, I'm not overdoing anything. I like it when it's simple. Sometimes you would not believe. Oh, by the way, I got this. Where did we get this um, this um, holder? We got that at the Aldi. Aras? Aldi. Aldi. This is beautiful, guys. This one is 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 tomato. Twenty twenty. Nice. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. Well, wow. nice. Um, so we got this at um Aldi and it's super nice because by right you're not supposed to have onions open in your refrigerator. When you when you cut an onion, it immediately starts to absorb all the bacteria and all the stuff that is in the air. Um onion is good if you have cold, for instance, if it's that cold season and your kids will you know come home with cold. Just cut an onion and put it down on a table or something in the house, and it usually it dry it take away the cold quickly. That's something that I've I've heard um, online, and so what I did with this is we bought this at Aldi, and this one, as I said, is for tomatoes. They have different shapes and flavors. Um, we didn't see one for onion, so we use a tomato one, and it's an airtight container. And so it keeps the onion fresh and it also keeps the bacteria out. And to, for, for my vegetables, I'm just going to be cutting up some onion. All right. And I'm using a Vidalia onion. You can use regular onion if you like the flavor of onion. I like onion. Um, funny enough, I like the Vidalia onion and so I use a lot of it. And I'm just cutting it up. Vidalia onion kind of tastes like a fruit. It's sweet, yeah. it's sweet in taste. Yeah, almost like an apple. Mm -hmm. And this, this, this vegetables, we're not going to add no wool up and nothing to that vegetable here, guys. We just want it stir fry. Sometimes we kill the, the taste of the vegetable. Worse, a lot of Jamaicans do that, you know. We kill the taste of the vegetable with a whole lot of ingredients, ingredients. And then absolutely necessary all the time. And then cook it out to frizz. And then cook frizz. it out to frizz, you know. And we don't have to do that. Alright. Nice. Reverend Nack, good morning to you. Troy Brown, good morning. Tanya Johnson, big up yourself. And Tanya Johnson, publicly, thank you for reaching out to us. Um, we appreciate every every single person that reached out to us. Um, you know, um, we appreciate you. Thank you for allowing your you and your husband, you and your family, for you know, Robin, reaching out. Yeah, appreciate it. Somebody say, what type of fish is that? The snapper, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, Reverend X, uh, love your videos. Keep posting. Thank you so much. All right, guys, this is not an absolute necessary necessary ingredient. The garlic at, at this particular meal, but I love garlic. I've grown to, to appreciate garlic and, and love the, the flavor. 
And I even I even make garlic water guys. Garlic infused water. You know, and so I put garlic in almost everything that I do cook. And so I have two cloves of garlic I'm gonna add to my cruciferous vegetables. Now if you did not buy this at um, Trader Joe's or if you don't want to buy it at Trader Joe's, you can still make your own by adding all the ingredients that I labeled. Brussels sprouts, kale, red cabbage, um, green cabbage, and one other thing. Was there one other thing? Mm, kale, no, I cabbage, said kale. Brussels, and pepper cabbage? Yeah. So those four items, you put them together. Oh, broccoli. And Oh, yes, and the broccoli. All right. And I just like the garlic, so, you know, the wife here work on the dumpling. Do you know what cruciferous means? Um, cruciferous is talking about items that can stand up to high heat. So there's no health? Um, no, it's not that there's no health, but cruciferous... No with associated with the word? meaning? Mm -hmm. No, it's not about health, it's about um, fire. Let me give it. It can take. It, all right. Let me give it where the word coming from. The word cruciferous is coming from crucible. All right, which is which is the the. You see when when somebody melting jewelry, mm -hmm. then stand over the fire. That fire, that flame, that place that the fire is coming from. The heat, the hive heat is the cru crucib. What the word? Crucible. Crucible or whatever it was. Yeah, I don't remember the word. But it have to do with heat, high heat. Let's see how many more things do. I know a little something now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come on. My, my mommy teach me. All the things. My mommy teach me, man. She said, she said, send what? You better know the things then. Or else the things go know you. You can't get this for him. I'm done. Oh, you're done? Yeah. I just need to pour out the oil somewhere. Pour it like this. All right, so the wife is almost done. I was gonna use another pot, but I shall not. Yeah, so this is that, and I'm gonna just sprinkle little, little salt and little stuff on it, and we're gonna be ready. Yeah, see, my crew sifts. Yes, sir, it's pre-washed, but I prefer when it's washed again. You think? Um. Yeah. I don't like to wash it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at them dumpling here. Yeah. Why you never use the thong, the thong, thong, thong? Now guys, don't watch the, 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 the deepness of the brown color. It's the lighting along with the ingredients that is in the dumpling. It's if you lighting. notice it over it's here, light. see them light over here? Yeah, it's a light. Look there, that definitely. looks so nice. Yeah, I prefer that, that light color dumpling there, I'm racist. It's ready, all of them ready. Mmm, the dumplings look so divine. Ready, ready, and I'm done, I'm done. Divine dumpling. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, you know, I wanted to start a business, but I can't give the name of it. For, for dumpling dough. Mm hmm? You know, in New York City, I bought the soup that I bought on the weekend when I was in New York. It, mm -hmm. it sell at a place named Dumpling Cove. Mm -hmm. And then there is another place. Um, Thank you so much. I am so happy when my when my um, viewers um, also help me with, with, with my word definition. A crucible is the largest of stones or clay pot for melting metals in. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. Yeah, I can't pronounce your name because it's a long name. It's here like fine wool or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but. Wow hair like fine wool skin like blunt brunt bronze thank you so much <laughs> I, I like that 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 name you, you you're saying it girl yeah and i expect that it's a girl because me no want to monitor about them here like fine wool and them someday mm -hmm. yeah that's, that's almost a girl can you imagine if they post videos do you follow hair like fine wool skin, skin like, like blunt, blunt bronze, bronze. <laughs> <laughs> but i i like the fact that i was on on point with my definition um, no, who do it in the sink? Put the 
put the thing in the sink, yeah. May I teach her how to do it. I'm not able to. And it's spillage, go on, it go on in the sink. Don't it, guys? Yeah, some of this. Look at that. Dumpling. Spin it. Spin it around. And this turnstile we got at IKEA. It just nice. I make the thing look sort of up there, you know? The turnstile make it look like foreign food where I cook like. You know, trust me. And you have to put an uh, um, absorbent paper just to, you know, move excess oils. And then we're going to start working on that. So you, you clean up. Alright, we're prepping for the next stage of the game. Yeah. What are we doing with time? We are, we are just about, um, we have just about 20 minutes left to, to go into it, but we won't take that long. Um, our program usually runs about an hour, guys, and we try to stay within the confines of an hour. It's not easy all the time to, to prep and cook and do everything live, you know, so... I'm thankful that you guys are understanding and you're staying with us for the long haul. All right? All right, I'm good to go. All right, I'm good to go. Can you come take the camera now, please, sweet boy? Take the camera. I like singing, guys, and I'm a very good singer. L listen, listen to this song that I sing for her the other day. Love in you We're is easy because you're beautiful. Making love to you It's all I wanna do Let me wash the vegetables Love, love in you <laughs> See the sun come shining How too. the dumpling look guys? Ouch This is our oat, oat dum, Oatmeal dumpling See, all you just are in, interrupt with me singing so La 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 do 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 be do do Isn't their name the description of Jesus appearance in the Bible? Whose name? You know what the cross of oh No Jesus appearance in the Bible is the hold on there is the um um christophany and our theophany and there's 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 another name but the crucible is referring to the heat the heat of a, of a fire you took out the oil it's on the counter right there oh because you need to use some right now i need to no i'm using fresh oil okay look at you Fresh Let me just oil. use a little coconut oil. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I, you know what is encouraging too when people say that they are going to make the dishes that you inspire them yes, to make. So, yes. Father says she's going to make it on Sunday. I appreciate that. Thanks, T O G 44. There was a novel called The Crucible, though. Yeah, there was a book. What's the difference? Yeah. No, no different. I'm just saying there was a book. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I saw that like a correction a while ago. Like, no, it wasn't. It wasn't no, a novel. It was no. a book. <laughs> no, I didn't say it. no. There wasn't. I said yes. Book. Oh. It wasn't a correction. Trust me. Why? All right. So we just want the, the the onion to start to smell up the place. All right. Coffee, right? Garlic tea, nice. I agree. I like garlic tea. I hate garlic tea. <laughs> Coffee, come on. Coffee. I like garlic tea too. Alright, turn up the heat a little bit. Smell goody? Yep. Let me back up so that the phone don't act up. Ba 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 ba. Well, you yeah, rhyme. Mm hmm. So now you're adding your vegetables, your cruciferous vegetables, mark you. And I think these are the veggies, these, no, not all of them. They're not um, superfoods. The kale is a superfood. The Brussels sprout is a superfood. Which, the Brussels sprout is cabbage. Right. I don't know about broccoli. Broccoli is a hybrid food, I think. Mm-hmm.
you know that that oil is super hot right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so I'm just using a little bit of black pepper. Mm -hmm. I'm using some amino acids. What is that? It's a replacement for soy sauce. It's much more healthy. It's sold by brands. Okay. A crucible is a container used for melting all metal in a furnace. Awesome. Awesome. Happy birthday to you. Take care and be safe. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you, T O G forty four. Have a blessed day too. And thanks for logging on and come back again. Next, yes. Next time. Yeah, yes. All right, and I'm just putting a little bit of garlic powder. That's it. No, I'm not more. Mm -hmm. And guys, you can always watch uh, my other breakfast live by hitting the playlist, breakfast live playlist, and you will see all the other videos that we have done, crazy videos mm -hmm. that we have done with different types of foods. You know, and just we just keep doing it every week, all right? Just exhaust the playlist. It will be fun. Yeah, to watch. we have a vegan playlist as well. <clears throat> so you can also check that one out. Mm -hmm. And this is ready. I promise you that. Ready like Freddy. Your, your Freddy ready. should have some crunch to it. Look yeah, it. when you see your green start to look bright, mm -hmm. that's when you want to lock it up. You don't want to cook out all the nutrients. Because you have just released the chlorophyll, the chlorophyll. <laughs> Um, in the in the leaves mm -hmm. and that's why it goes to the bright color once the chlorophyll is dead it goes really dark green like army color mm -hmm. so you know like sometimes when I'm um, using kale in smoothies I kind of blanch it first yeah you can because it actually there's a there's a thin film of um, material that the, the leaf produces to protect it mm -hmm. and so when you blanch it you, you, you remove that Okay. And then you know, you won't have that stain. Alright, that's it. That's it. Yep, I'm gonna put a little butter. Um turn off the soap. It's on the, on the thingy babe. On the table. Turn off the soap. A bit of butter and you're good to go. And that's it. Ready for the plating. Plating. Ready for the plating. Plate. Oh, we never showed the guys the fish, guys. So last night, it's late. gonna go in the plate. You gonna put one in the plate too? Um, I want fish. What's here? <laughs> so last night, late in the night, guys, I take up myself to never fry fish. Okay. Come on, I'm gonna show, show the fish. You see that spin a while ago, guys? <laughs> <laughs> that spin! That twirl. I need to go on circus only. <laughs> that spin. Oh, sorry, guys. Let me clean the camera because I feel like it got foggy over there. Sorry. Yeah. Mm, better. That's better. <laughs> so we have our fish over here. We have like three snapper fish and then we have some little pieces of I think catfish, catfish. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's one, two pieces of catfish. And this fish is so good. I had a piece late last night and had a bad dream, but. Cravenice. <laughs> <laughs> Cravenice, <laughs> guys. Yeah. That what is what, what, that's what was up last night. One fish. Mm, yum yum. <laughs> you like will say. You like fire will say yum yum yum. And 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 I made this this little little um um what you call it now? Escovich. Escovich sauce, guys. But it's a little bit different because I use I use like lime, mm -hmm. you know, and stuff in it and thing and thing. Mm -hmm. So. So I'm going to put the vegetables here and here. Mm. How must put the vegetables? No, one side and then the dump in the other side. So where would you put the dump in? 
All around, all around. I would put the dumpling all, all around. Come on. <laughs> How that look, guys? All right, you put the dumpling. Down. Ooh la la. All right, so now for the dumplings. Start with a nut. And then you put a baseball bat. <laughs> And then Yeah. So the thing set this morning. Pre storm breakfast. Pre birthday breakfast. <laughs> you name it. That's what's up in this kitchen today. You already better kitchen. And a nice slice of hovercar though. <laughs> How we look? How you look, guys? If you like what you see, thumbs up is for we. I'm going to try the rhyming too, but now we're good. It, it have become natural. Wow. See, I said I'm not a natural rhymer. Mm -mm. I feel hurt. I feel it come out. I'm struggling with the dumplings. Don't struggle. Yeah, the, the, sometimes it's best. The, the simplest things is best. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> wow. What about like tomato? Oh, it's something you want to put on the tea, on the plate. Oh. Put it if you want it, it look good. <laughs> oh yeah, it's fine because red is already on there. So all oh, this look Yay! guys. This is our breakfast live this morning. Nice. Yeah. And the girl is gonna take her her photo now. So guys, the fish was just seasoned with salt and pla and black pepper and uh, we just fried them j crispy and then i use onions garlic and bell peppers and jalapenos uh with with um vinegar and lime juice to make the escovitch um sauce and and that's it yeah you're not supposed to do the talking until i was ready but you're taking too long. My phone is foolish. No, your fingernails is your screen <laughs> is dirty. Listen, your screen is dirty, and your fingernails are is not um, it 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 it, it won't wipe off. Trust me. Nail? Yeah. See, your screen is oily. I know these things, you know. Speedy, big up yourself, Claudine. Big up yourself. She says she don't live far. She could have stopped running at the house. Claudine. You can stop round to the house. Hallelujah. I think so. I feel it, Claudine. All right. Talk now. So, guys, this awesome, awesome breakfast is coming from Yadabella TV. And we have a Escovitch fish right there. Some oatmeal fried dumpling. A piece of avocado. And cruc cruciferous uh, vegetables. Stir yeah, fry. stir fry, and that's our breakfast live. May I eat one? May I talk? I, mean, I really want nobody to know. May I eat one? I talk to them. Um, yeah, so she's doing our Instagram, guys. So that's where we're coming from. Yeah, it look, it look good. It look good on camera. Beulah, big up yourself. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's true, it's true, Beulah. I'm gonna do the cookbook, I promise you. I keep saying it and it not do yet, but it's gonna do. As I said, there's a goal and a purpose to life. I'm gonna make that be mine. Um, okay, that looks so good. And guys, check us out on Instagram, Yadi Belly TV, One True Natural, or Candy's Hair Creation, and Josh the Food Lover. We are on Instagram. All right, look on the food, look on the something here. Hey, look pan a something here. Hey, look pan a something here. Hey, look pan this food pan the plate. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we have almost exhausted our time. We do appreciate you guys for logging on each uh, Thursday morning. Janice Jones, good morning to you. Janice, man. So Janice, man. Janice says she miss it. Hey, this is the wife's plate, and I promise you, this is our pre-birthday plate. If the birthday starts so, 
you can imagine what got up next. Mm. So like a lobster frigaro. <laughs> you have a dish name, sir? That's not too bad. That looks good. I changed it. This is one. Mm -hmm. What you do is just bring it down a little bit. Oh. See? Yes, yes, Jenny says happy birthday to you. Thank you, Jenny. I appreciate you. Love it. I appreciate it. Guys, this when she when she up on her Instagram, she shut down all other other, other senses. No, because I'm trying to get it out the way to so take the picture. No, but you can't. Don't talk, don't trouble your Instagram yet. You have to make the something make the Instagram take its time and come up. Zen blessings to you, Zenitha. And guys, please remember to visit our shop now page. And look if this is something you like. The support, we need it. All right? We appreciate it and we need it. All right? If if we serve you nicely and you like what you see, support us as much as you can. We appreciate it. Yeah? Donations and all these things. We accept it. Yeah? We accept free gas. We accept tin goods. <laughs> <laughs> Toilet paper. We accept book and pencil. We accept donations. Don't worry about it. The pride goes before a fall. You we understand? We accept O's. We accept O's, Sankyar, <laughs> Old Van, RV. We accept anything. You understand? <laughs> TV. Not the big back TV, them though, because nobody not take them there. Not even food for the poor. We accept flat screen. <laughs> uh, you have to say scream. Flat scream. <laughs> we accept computerize. <laughs> All right. But it's a pleasure, man. We appreciate you guys. So thank you once again for logging on. This has been Breakfast Live. And guess what? If I can come live in the storm, I shall be live in the storm. In the high of the storm. Do you have a PayPal account? Of course we do. We do have a PayPal account. As a matter of a fact, I'm going to make sure the PayPal account number is in the description. <laughs> or the, the PayPal something. The email. the email is in the description box just below the video. All right. So um, give us about an hour to update the description box. You have given me different ideas, cereal for fried bread, aka dumpling. I made open so I can cook from scratch. I don't need. Thank you so much. We are, I'm so happy to have inspired you, and I do hope that it turns out well. Let me know if it turns out well, okay? Here, like, will let me know if it turns out well, okay? All right, and remember to follow the stories on Facebook. Facebook has stories now. Um, not Facebook, sorry. Um, YouTube has stories now, so follow the stories and also follow our Instagram, okay? Yes, and if you are on Facebook, I'm on Facebook as well, Yadi Belly TV or Jamaican comedian Rev Saint Hope. All right, I think I've given you enough information. We have about two minutes to go. And we are out of here. The wifey can't wait to eat her fish and to have her breakfast live. <laughs> have a pleasant day, guys. Live and laugh. Cook and eat. Cook and eat. All right. <laughs>